Has the discovery tool in your Joomla site discovered something and you're wondering what to do about it? Then this is the video for you. Brought to you by MySites.Guru. Do you have a Joomla site? Of course you do. Head on over to MySites.Guru and get a free site audit for it. Hey there Joomla fans, Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thanks for tuning in to Maintenance Monday number 300. Hooray! Yes, 300 Maintenance Monday episodes. Thanks for your support of the channel. Here on the Basic Joomla Tutorials YouTube channel where I show you my favorite extensions, tools, and tips for building and maintaining Joomla sites. I also work on Joomla sites, build them, maintain them, migrate them. If you're looking to hire someone short-term or long-term or even just to get you out of a spot, send me an email, tim at cybersalt.com, and let's talk. Okay, now before we look at the screen, let's talk about what the discovery tool discovers. The discovery tool discovers files that are part of your Joomla install that your database knows nothing about. So think about your Joomla site as a head and a body. The head or the brain is the database and the body are all the files that make it up. And if the brain doesn't know about those files, the discovery tool says, whoa, here's some files the brain knows nothing about. What do you want to do? And without further ado, let's look at the screen and we'll see what to do in those circumstances. Now there's a few options and we're going to look at them now. We'll start out with the easiest ones. But first of all, I really encourage you make a backup of your site because you're going to be possibly deleting some files manually. And if you delete the wrong ones, you could mess things up and wish you could go back. So make a backup of your site. Also, you might want to test this out if you have Stage It, which is an extension that makes a copy of your Joomla site in a subfolder of your Joomla site in a folder called forward slash stage it. And it also makes a copy of your tables so that you can log into the staging area and you can test things and delete things or do whatever. And if you break something or you discover something that you didn't want to do, then you just go back to your live site and you can make another staging area, keep practicing. So those are two things I highly recommend. Definitely back up before doing this. Now, I'm not gonna do this in the staging environment. I really wanna keep it simple for where you're gonna be looking for files. And just remember, if you use the staging environment, you're gonna be working in the forward slash stage it folder of your Joomla install. All right, so here we are in the back end of one of my Joomla sites. This is Joomla 5, but the principles are the same for Joomla 5, 4, and 3. And you'll see that when I go to system, we see discover, and there we go. Here are some different parts of Joomla that the database knows nothing about. Now, the first thing that you can do is you can simply install what the Discover tool has discovered. So, for instance, see, this is the Cassapia site template. Now, I purposely broke this so it would show up here. You know that Cassiopeia works in Joomla 4 and Joomla 5. It's the default template. So, you might say, oh, I... I really want to have access to that because it's good to test if I'm having problems and I want to rule out my other template if you're using a third-party template. So you can click here and you can install it. No problem because we know that this works with Joomla 4 and 5. And we click install. And what happens is, is that the Cassiopeia template gets installed to your Joomla site and it becomes available in the back end. Now, if you wanted to use Cassiopeia, that's great. But if you didn't want to, because you knew that it was Joomla 4 or Joomla 5 compatible and you installed it, you could now go to the extensions manager and click on Cassiopeia and uninstall it. And it's going to be uninstalled because when it's installed after you select it in the discovery tool, it's just put in there like it normally would be. So now you can uninstall it and it'll be removed from the database and those files should be removed. So that's your first two choices. You can install it and use it or you can install it and uninstall it. Now, if you're not sure that what is discovered is compatible with the version of Joomla that you're using, your third option is to delete those files from your file space. Now, where do you find those files? We have some really important information here in the Discover tool. Let's look at a simple one first. Here's the Bees 5 template. Now, this is core. I think it was around in Joomla 2.5. Maybe, maybe it was around the beginning of Joomla 3. 
But, you know, I don't want to install this on my Juma 4 or Juma 5 site because it might break. It's not for that. And definitely if I install it and it doesn't break it, if I go to uninstall it, the uninstall instructions might not work with the PHP version that I'm running Juma 4 or Juma 5 on because it's an older template or it could actually just create problems. I don't want to do it. So I'm going to manually delete the file. Look at the information here. It's named BS5. It's location site. It's a template. All right. I think that's enough information for us for this one. Let's go into the uh, file manager of my web host and control panel here. And we're going to go here. And this site is in public HTML. So now remember, we're looking for a template named bees5. Well, great. We'll go down here to templates. And here's the folders for the templates. Look, there's Cassiopeia, which we already installed, but hey, B is five. I don't want that. So I'm going to right click and I'm just going to delete that. I'll skip the trash and just delete it. Now, when we go back to the discover tool and we refresh, look at that. The files for the bees template have been removed and they're nowhere to be found now because we just deleted them. Let's do another one, a simple one that's in another location. Here we have random article and it's a site module and it's super old. Sometimes this year doesn't really matter here in the date because sometimes developers don't update the dates in their XML files. But you know, this is an old one and I'm not going to use it on my site. I'm not going to risk installing it. So again, I'm going to just remove it. So let's look for a random article in site module. Okay, so we'll go back to the file manager. Let's go up out of templates, the site module, not an administrator module, it's a site module. So it'll be public HTML and it'll be modules. And we're looking for something that has random in it. There's mod random article. Now this has been around a long time on the site. This is not something that I broke for this tutorial. This is uh, actually been there for a while. And look, there's mod random article from December 5th, 2015. I know that that's, that's old. I don't want that. And so I know for sure that that's the one mod random article. Here we go and delete. And we're going to skip and we'll go back and refresh. And then we're going to look at some complicated, more tricky things to remove. Discover and random article is gone. Now we have two plugins that are still here. Now they're both from Unique Goatee, but actually, you know, these are old things that I installed that I knew I would not, I did not want in my Juma 5. This, this has to do with things that were from Juma 3. I installed them for this. So I'm not picking on Unique. He's a great guy and he's been on the channel showing his extensions. So this is strictly for demonstration purposes. All right, so we have two plugins here. These are gonna be a little bit trickier to find. Well, let's take a look. Let's see plugin system shlib. It's a site plugin, not administrator plugin, a site plugin. So let's go back to our file here. This last one's gonna be the trickiest, but we will go up out of modules from public HTML. We're going to go into plugins and let's just see plugin. Oh, the folder here, it's a system folder. Oh, that's helpful. So we're gonna go down in plugins to system. And now I'm gonna look first for this name, shlib. Okay, let's go down to the S's. Oh, there's shlib, that's probably that. Oh yeah, and look, December 24th, 2017 oh, it's been around for a while now i'm pretty confident it's that it's this but if you're not sure you can always do this with any of these modules or anything you're moving let's go into shlib and you'll see there's an xml file here inside that xml file will contain information about this plugin and things that will be important for us to see what's happening so watch let's go and we're going to just go view and now we're going to see, oh, look, here's uh, version 030473. This information, guess what? When we go back here, it's the same information that's being displayed. In fact, when Discover sees this module, it looks for the XML file and says, hey, here's the information of what I found. What do you want to do with it? So I know that I have found the right one because it matches the XML information here. Wonderful. 
So I'm just going to go up one level. We'll scroll back down to uh, shlib and we're going to go delete. And we will delete that from there. And then we'll go back to extensions and discover. And we'll see, hey, look, and there's only this one left. Now, this is a kind of a tricky one, which is why I left it to the end. And But you have all the information for how to find this one. But let's find it together. SH404SEF, it's a location of site, not the administrator, forward slash administrator site. That's a plugin. And again, it's a system. And it's SH404SEF. So we'll go back here. We know that we're already in plugins and system here. Let's look for whatever this plugin is, SH404SEF. So we'll go down here and hey, look, here's a plugin here, which is SEF. Let's go into there. And is this the one? Hmm, I don't know. So let's look in the XML file. View, and we'll see here that this is version three. Description is plug SEF XML description, namespace, da, da, da. but uh, version three, let's compare. No, that says version 4.7.2. Nope, that is not the one. Don't delete that one. Let's go up and look again. All right. Well, what could this be? You may have to just look and keep looking in those XML files. Now, let's just see one more clue here. Let's see, system mobile template switcher for mobile devices. Okay, I'll go back here and we're going looking down here and it's like, hey, oh wait, SH mobile. Okay, I also know that this extension from Weebler back in the day had SH in a lot of its things. So why don't we just go into here, double click. There's our XML file. We're going to go a view. And we're going to say, oh, version 4.7.2.315, switch site template for mobile devices. There's even description. And guess what? There you go. It matches. Matches the version. Matches that. Uh, we found it. So you know what to do. We will go up a level. We'll scroll back down. We're going to delete and get rid of that. We'll go back. And we're going to discover. And now this site has no extension files that uh, are not known in the database. It's all being cleaned. And that's great because those files are no longer taking space and they're no longer going to cause problems as we continue to update our Joomla sites. Subscribe for more videos. Until the next time, enjoy your Joomla sites and God bless.